So I do make this seem really, really easy, but I've got over 20,000 hours of handling animals under these hands. You really shouldn't do it at home. You really shouldn't do it yourself. You really shouldn't do it without gloves. You should call Wildlife Command Center because we will come out and help you deal with that animal issue. All right. What are you guys catching? Something around here? Yeah. What? Bird. A bird? A bird. Mm -hmm. What are you guys doing? It's a holiday for us. Yeah, what holiday? It's called Sukkus. Sukkus? Yeah, we have like, we build a little hut in the backyard. Uh huh. You've seen any. Yeah, I've been seeing a lot, a lot of folks and they're carrying some long palm looking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah? Is that part of the hut? Yeah. Cool. It's part of something. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Wow, this is cool too. That's cool. Yeah. You actually catch the uh, endangered species? Or well, the, well there, there's, there's a bird stuck in the house and it's dying, so we're going to go capture it and then release it. Nice. So, let it go. You should watch our show on Discovery Plus and Animal Planet. Oh, really? Yeah. Show? Yeah, we got a wildlife show. Wait, it's all based out of here in St. Louis, Imperial, three counties. Yeah, like venomous snakes and wow. raccoons with big teeth. Y'all cool. want to see one of my scars? Stuff like that here. See right here on my arm where I got bit by a raccoon? <gasps> yeah, what it happens. Name, we named him Rocky. Yeah, as soon, as soon as he bit me, I was like, Rocky, you son of a gun. <laughs> yep. Okay, guys. Okay. We met a celebrity. Absolutely. Well, I don't know about that, but you know. <laughs> Is that right? That's how it works. Is, oh, is that how it works? Okay. So uh, yeah, we're here in Clayton and we've got a bird that is uh, trapped itself inside of a house and it definitely is going to die it is, uh, if nobody d does anything about it. So we're going to go in here and see if we can't rescue it and uh, get it out safely and turn it loose. I'll bet you that window right there is where the little bird, oh, there he is. See the little bird stuck inside the window? Right there, see his little head? Hello. Hey, puppy. How are you? Yeah, what a nice little puppy dog. He's very proud. Yeah. Is he a shaved sheep dog? Yes. Nice. Nice. Uh, so we're going to just slide in real quick. I see, I see our little friend up there. Yeah, we, he was peeking at us through the, through the window. We're just going to... Uh, <laughs> what's his name? Abner. Huh? Abner. Abner? Hey, Abner. Woo! Abner, he's like, friends, I don't get, nobody ever pets me, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, one of the situations, this happens often, where a bird will get inside of a house or a structure, and it just cannot figure out uh, which way to go, especially when there's so many different uh, windows and lights. So we're going to capture it real quick, uh, check it out, make sure it's okay, and then we're going to let it go outside the double doors over here. Um, one of the things I'll warn you right now about cardinals is they bite really, really hard. So if, um, if it bites me, it's going to hurt. All right. So even these really tall homes like this, I thought we were going to have to do it off the balcony. But this is pretty go probably going to be pretty easy. We'll just get her to, to come down. Oh, and it's a baby. So it's a little, little baby cardinal. I don't want to get bit by those, those, uh, those teeth. Those, those beaks are made for uh, opening seeds and they can really, really pinch. See how they pinch? And they're made for opening seeds because uh, they are seed eaters, but I'm just going to check his... Oh, now he's biting himself. This may be a little male, because he is uh, hes about half grown. He probably just fledged. I really can't tell if it's a male or female at this point because it's so young. But anyway, I think he's okay. We'll just let him go outside the window over here. His tail's all intact. I feel like you're using the 
perfect amount of delicateness with. Yeah, so, so they have very fragile bones. They're hollow. And so I literally barely have my thumb pressed on his back and uh, barely even holding him because you don't want to hurt them, you know. So let's go let him go outside the window, the door over here. So this little guy probably came out of a nest nearby. I hear the parent bird. See that? You hear that? That's a cardinal. That high pitch chirp, that's the parent bird. All right, I'm set. Okay, so he's gonna go to your right. Or not. <laughs> well, that was my right. <laughs> What's that, sir? Yeah, well, this was pretty straightforward. Luckily, it participated. <laughs> you know? Well, that, and I just happened to have the right kind of net, so that helps too. So I would say that that was a successful capture and removal and release all at the same time. Uh, the bird was in really good shape. Uh, we could hear the parent birds nearby, so we know that it will be fed. And um, it didn't take any damage at all. It was literally undamaged. So you know, I'm always asking you guys to smash the subscribe button, turn on notifications. But you know, if you really, really wanna help us out, go down to some of the links below and click on that. It helps support us, it helps support our mission, and it helps us further our rescue efforts. We have a lot of great content, a lot of great videos coming. They're all packed up in the pipeline. So we'll see you next time.